Here we are. Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun. And be safe. Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! Hello everybody, I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome to my next Let's Play. It's one that people have been asking for for a long time, and it's finally here. It is Freddy Fish 5, The Case of the Creature of Coral Cove. Now, I just want to give a full disclosure, out of all of the Humongous Entertainment Junior Adventure games, this is the one that I am familiar with the least, by far. All the other ones I played a whole bunch of times, and I've basically memorized everything about the games. Um, not this one. I don't remember this game very well at all. I know there are two distinct paths, so Marty and I will be able to play one of them, and I'll play the first one. I don't remember what those two paths are, though, and I don't remember how to beat this game, so <laughs> it's practically a blind let's play at this point. <laughs> but, uh, I guess I should say, um... Out of, I, this is the Junior Adventure game I know the least out of the ones that were made before Atari bought the company. The two that the, uh, Atari made, uh, Pep's Birthday Surprise and Pajama Sam 4, uh, I am also not very familiar with because I've only played those like once. So this should hopefully be still entertaining and still uh, informative. I hope you guys enjoy. It's Monkey Penny! <laughs> Great reference, I love that. I have, like, not really clicked on the background stuff here at all. This is the last of the Freddy Fish games, by the way, at least out of the Junior Adventures, so... <laughs> also, Grandma Grouper looked different than she normally did. I mean, I... Well, she at least sounded a lot different. I get they probably couldn't have the same voice actress, but whatever. Walk the way to Coral Cove Park. All right, well, let's... let's dive on in! <laughs> oh. There's a bunch of people over there. That's interesting. And by people, I mean fish. Glue. <laughs> um, is that like <laughs> gender swapped Gil Barker? <laughs> she looks friendly. <laughs> Marlin, he, <lo> you can tell right away he's a politician. Dadfish construction. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would totally hire Dadfish. Beluga blue sunscreen. Um, do fish need sunscreen? I feel like they're far enough below the ocean that they really don't have any use for it. But what do I know? <laughs> oh man, oh my gosh, that looks like <laughs> every musician ever. Basically, he's got the goatee, he's got the beret. He 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 looks like he knows how to party. Wesley bottled water going out of business sale. Gee, I wonder why fish don't want to buy water in the ocean. <laughs> That's like small, shady male Freddy. I love how Humongous Entertainment puts all these background stuff to click on in every game. Oof. That's not good. Can you handle... The claw. Yes, I can. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. <laughs> Not in my top ten favorite bands out there. Ugh, no thank you. Eat more worm doodles. Those look alarmingly like Cheetos. Also, that guy looks very much like he's, um, taking a little too much ice cream. Am I gonna have to... Am I gonna have to bleep that out? I might. <laughs> Nick Snacks. Oh, he oh he runs a knickknack shop, not even a music store. He looks like he would be a good musician. He looks kind of like the um. Oh, what does he look like? I, I wish Marty were here. She would probably help me figure out who that is. <laughs> Thank Poseidon for Plankto. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kipper. Wow, how many billboards are there? This is insane. Cone homes. <laughs> He's giving you the thumbs up. That's how you know they're good. Oh, wow. Army lady? Interesting. Okay, that's all of them. All right, let's check out what this rabble is. We're not gonna let some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me. Why right, do you have a protractor? Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a You look a little out of it, dude. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me, too. Something seems fishy here. But, Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Very true. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park! Deal. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Oh, hey, we're here already. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! Thank goodness she just happened to have the permission slip in her pocket right now, almost like she was waiting for us. That's great. Yeah, so, interesting premise. Sea monster in the park, and an angry mob wants to stop it. And if there's one thing the last couple of years have taught me, it's that an angry mob generally means bad news. All right, lady, what's up? Officer Beverly, Coral Cove, Precinct 14. How can I be of service? I'm admiring your uniform. <laughs> this badge is really cool. Just remember what it means. It means authority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that means don't try to swim past her or else she'll send the bulldozers after you. <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. Oh wait, there's no middle ground between them. It was literally just a cut. Oh, okay. Interesting. It says Coral Cove. I can read, Freddy. That's the way to town. <laughs> I need that in my yard. I've never understood the obsession with, like, garden gnomes. Is it that? That's what I want in my yard. Statue of Fish Liberty. So this, uh, this game is slightly more advanced than the other Freddy Fish games. Like, this room right here is actually, like, a giant scrolling room. So if we go to the left, the whole room actually scrolls a little bit, which is really cool. So it's like a giant drawing. You and look also... like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> so this is Gil Barker's twin sister, Gillian Barker. Barker, I love it. Also, you just have a photo of your brother in your pocket to show where it's like, hey, I think I know you. You're Gil Barker. Yeah, we're twins. <laughs> she just pulls it out. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyhow, what's up, Gillian? You must be proud of your brother Gil's success. The whole family is proud. We come from a long line of Barkers, you see. <laughs> That's a, what do you mean? What do you mean you're proud of your brother? He was the <laughs> I was about to say he was the murderer. He was the culprit in the last two games, or at least he could have been the culprit. What timeline is this with regards to Freddy Fish 3 and 4? 
Obviously, it takes place after those because we recognize Gil Barker. But like, is it in that in this timeline of Freddy Fish Five was Gil Barker the culprit? Was he not? I mean, even if he wasn't, all he does was run a hall of mirrors and then sell us some gum. That was literally it. Like, there's no need to be proud of that. How long have you worked in sales? Let's just say I'm not at the bottom of the pyramid anymore. I've been warned about jobs like that. <laughs> Nonsense! It's the way to go, Luther. I'm my own boss, and I make a great living. Uh, sure, but it's still a pyramid scheme. You and Gil look so much alike. I've heard that all my life. You even have the same briefcase. Oh, now you're making things up. <laughs> That's because they use the exact same character models from the previous games and just slap lipstick and a wig and eyelashes on them. Problem solved. How much does the glue cost? One purple sea urchin. You can't beat that. Yeah, that's true. Unless you give it to me for free, please. Let's check out what's in here. It's the mayor. Hey, you're the mayor, right? Hey, mayor. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number eight fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears? Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Okay. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Uh, wait. Um. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> so first off, we're underwater. This is like the ocean, and yet somehow he still has buckets of water for Mayor Marlin. Maybe it's a different liquid. But how would you keep it perfectly submerged? In, I, this doesn't make any sense. Also, you're trusting two random kids with the key to your barber shop. Just hoping that they A, don't lose the keys, and B, that nobody's going to break into your barber shop and steal anything. This is not the way to go, buddy. There was an actual fish in that statue of a fish. And another one. Also, that's a cool action figure back there. Guy riding a horse. Something smells good. What's that blue stuff, Mayor Marlin? It's dish soap. He's soaking in it. Okay, so it's dish soap. Maybe, like, these are sunk to the bottom of the ocean and dish soap is at a different density so it also sinks into it. Maybe that's how it works? This has been Artie Science Facts for the day. Ooh, that was, that was a good sound effect. <laughs> I've heard that in some other Humongous Entertainment games for sure. Can we have a whole game starring that fish? <gasps> this is really good music. Actually, wait. Isn't this music from Freddy Fish Free as well? Maybe it's- this is like... This sounds very much like some of the carnival music from Freddy Fish Free. It's really good. Oh, hey, it's Nick's neck! Oh! That sign is crushing this guy's neck. Is he dying? Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. Everything was smooth as usual until the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into that stinging anemone. Ouch! How will you get it out? I'm clueless, and I'm trapped here. Can you help? Are you kidding? We'd love to help the clueless. Luther wow. means that we'd be happy to help you put the sign back up. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. We're happy to help. Luther is a savage. Wow. So, yeah, this guy is literally has the sign fall on his neck. Can we at least lift it off We'd of it? We'd really like to see your store. There's no <laughs> way we'll fit, Freddy. The sign is blocking our way. True. Sorry, <laughs> you can't come in until the sign is fixed. We just need that bolt from the stinging anemone and a wrench to fix the sign. 
with skewed priorities. This this guy is literally on death's door, getting his slowly asphyxiated, and we're just like, we'd really like to go to your store. It's like, can you please lift the sign up? Nope. I can't reach into the stinging anemone. We can hire Nemo and Marlin to do it. Marlin's the mayor, you know. Hey, bro. Excuse me. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my part of the angry friend mob. Luther. Hi. Well, hello. My name's Kip Craftsman. Hey, Kip. You look like the jock. I was just deeply admiring my latest chip model. Wow. It must take a lot of patience to build these models all day. Each one is like a child to me. It hurts to let them go. You sure have a lot of kids. Uh, so, bro, I know that because the knickknack shop is literally just off screen and it's not even far away, I know you heard our whole conversation. You have a wrench here, why are you not doing anything? Oh, because this is an adventure game and we need obstacles for you. <laughs> that was a bird with a scuba helmet. That was fantastic. What beautiful handiwork. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take her apart if I don't find a bottle big enough to house it. Don't do anything rash. Luther's right. Maybe we can help. Isn't that a bottle back there? Oh no, there's a ship already in that one. Give us the wrench. What do you use this for? The wrench? I'll use that to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. That must be hard for you. It's a heartbreaker. If only I had a big enough bottle for the ship, then I wouldn't need the wrench. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. All right, so classic trading sequence. We got to get the bottle for him before we can get the wrench. Sorry, dude, you're literally going to die here because he refuses to give us the wrench. Oh, man. <laughs> he looks so depressed. Also, there is a shocking lack of purple sea urchins right now. The Freddy Fish games have really... Uh, well, not just the Freddy Fish games. Humongous Entertainment games in general have really good music. A lot of the Humongous Entertainment games were actually composed by the same guy who composed Skyrim. Just so people know. It's a barber pole. I've always wondered why barbers have these poles outside their store. It's a barber pole. Yes, it is. That clam has swallowed a dolphin! Well, it looks like there's somebody already in this barber shop who's squeezed through even though it's locked. That door's locked. Yes, it is. Well, but thankfully he trusted the keys to us, so we can actually unlock it. Which key should I try? Well, it has a square lock. It might be this key. It's not really a key so much as just a piece of metal, but all right. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! All right, we broke into this guy's store. Let's go and rob him blind. Uh...